This is Constant Elevation, the show for rising Air Force and community leaders who seek to define the future, learn powerful work and life tactics to tackle any challenge. I'm your host, Gabriel Gabrock Avila. Let's go. What's up, everybody? Gabe Rock back on the mic once again. By the time you're hearing this, it's already going to be November. Man, we made it through October, made it through the spoopy season. Hope you enjoyed that uh, virtual Halloween series uh, through the month of October. Uh, really give a big shout out to Davison Entertainment for being the sponsor that that month. And uh, yeah, it's now really heading into the fall season. A lot of different changes today. I'm recording this on a Thursday. It was rainy all day here in Maryland. And uh, um but it's a very productive day and awesome. So many awesome things have happened. And um, I would tend to record when I choose to record my episodes. I, I try and find the right vibe, trying to find the right energy where I got my right mindset. And usually it's always after dinner. We just had family dinner uh, tonight, spinach tortellini. It was awesome with some chicken. And then tomorrow night we're having chicken Caesar salad. So always a, a, a great time to have family dinner as much as I can uh, when I can. But uh, um, this, it was a good day today. It was a really, really good day today. And the reason why is because I went to, first of all, I went to the comic book store and bought some bomb, Third Eye comics, shout out, bought some bomb-ass comics. So I'm looking forward to all the Batman and all the X-Men and the Venom and the Stranger Academy things and Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Um, there's a lot of good comics that I'm looking forward to. And then I had a, um, so I came home. And then as soon as I came home, um, I drove up. First of all, it was raining, like I said earlier, all day today. And I found a stack of four boxes, like underneath, like we have a little nook thing uh, right in front of our garage is the bump out from our from our dining or our kitchen. And I was like, is that what I think it is? And it was four boxes of this, my new book, No Pressure. So I panicked. I was like, dude. Oh my God, I got to go park the car really quick. And I ran right in and I made sure I grabbed, uh, grabbed them all. Then, because some of the boxes were, I don't know what UPS is doing, but they just decided, like, no, this is fine. We won't ring the doorbell or anything. Or anything. We're just going to put them by this certain area that's not dry and leave all these boxes totally labeled book baby to be like, no, this is fine. This is what we're going to do. We're just going to leave all these, these uh, books out in the rain. So luckily, I don't know when it got delivered, but I came home, bought them, brought them all the boxes into the garage, and then I was like, dude, this is, it's my book. I, it, it was a culmination of my, my efforts and all of my energy that I've been trying to put into being creative and trying to share my thoughts. And so um, it was cool. And so I took my time, you know, Gina came home from her, from her job and I started kind of like, I'm excited to open my books. And I opened it up and I grabbed the very, very first book. Uh, edition and that's going to be mine the one the first one that i grabbed i have upstairs that's going to be one of one that's going to be for me only and uh it's it's just a culmination like i have a tangible if you're watching the video i will do better about putting youtube videos up as well this tangible book that i have self-published a challenge that i set out back in march of 2019 to write a book so that's what I want to talk about this week. Um, the name, the title of this episode is We Fail and Succeed at the Margins of Our Experiences. So I grabbed that quote. I, I remix a little bit. It came from uh, my CrossFit Level 1 ex um, uh, training material. And really it's talking about like the idea of, you know, CrossFit itself as a fitness and uh, as a uh, sports and conditioning program exposes you to a bunch of different things you may or may not um, uh be if you're if you're if you're a distinct athlete you're 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 a runner you know you're a power lifter you're a bodybuilder depending on what you are like crossfit methodology exposes you to a bunch of different things to try and make sure that you are a well-rounded athlete and so the reason why i want to talk about this is me writing this book was completely a exper experiment, right? It was a challenge. I challenged myself in March. I'm like, I'm going to write a book. I have no idea what that means, and I found the right people to surround me, And uh, um, but at that point in time, I had no idea how to write a book. I just knew that I enjoyed writing, and I was like, no, I just want to be able to say I'm, I have, I'm a published author, and now I wrote a book, and I have a physical product now. I have over 150 of these books here that are going to be selling on my own, and uh, we'll get into that in a second, but like the idea of just saying like, I created something. And I'm very, very proud, and uh, um, I'm excited. I, I was happy pretty much the morning. Uh, my morning started out crazy, but um, I'll, I'll cover, maybe I won't cover that part. My morning started out kind of crappy, but like the end of the day, and no matter how much rain was coming down, you were not going to rain on my parade today because I got the book I worked hard on. And so um, what I want to talk about is like just the idea of the experience that I 
I challenge myself, right? The idea, uh, so kind of drawing parallels to um, failing and succeeding at the margins of experience. If you don't go out and self, and if you don't go out and challenge yourself to do certain things, you're not going to grow. Growth comes from challenge. Growth comes from being uncomfortable. I had no idea how to write a book. I just know I like writing bullshit. Like, right? I wrote it. I can write things on my personal blog when it was Project Rise, and I can just publish my thoughts and like. But with no filter, but like the idea of organizing it, you know, and making sure that like my voice had a consistent, you know, um, tempo and perspective <clears throat> and what I wanted to do to present something out in the world to say like, here's, here's, I have put my name, my money behind this entire thing to be like, no, this is what I believe in. This is what I believe in to be a leader in the Air Force. This is built on my experiences and how I want to share my experiences with the world out there. So I'm very, very um and there's points and times where when I talk about like, you know, they, they fail, you fail and succeed at the margins of your experience. So, yes, I succeeded in the fact that like I, I reached my goal of I published a book. That was it. I just wanted to say I published a book. So the moment I touched this book is when I met that challenge and I completed it. There's a bunch of other stuff that needs to happen on there after this, but there's also a bunch of stuff that happened in between that. There's a point in time where like I was really, really frustrated. I want to say like the beginning of this year of 2020, if you can remember how five years ago, the beginning of 2020, the idea of like writing a book was just not on my plate. I had so many other things in my mind, you know, as far as like my frustrations at work and just my personal things. I, I was I was not in a good spot and I started to kind of give up and just not dedicate time to that. And it took me a couple months for me to figure out, you know, check-ins with my editor, Kelly. She was asking me how I'm doing and I'm like, just my mind's not right. I'm not in the right creative mode in order to um to write a book to continue this project that i spent over uh, like a year on right and so it took some coaching from her to understand for me to understand like no i, I had a vision and a goal and i need to follow through so i didn't want this to be an experience where i failed at it i wanted to succeed and so i i followed through worked hard on that whole thing even amongst the covid stuff and then finally i have culminated to the point where i am able to release this book out into the wild and so, and then some indirect things happened as I was writing the book, right? This podcast is an indirect positive thing of me um, writing this book, right? The, the book itself is very focused as far as my perspective on Squadron Command, my perspective, not necessarily on generally on leadership. That'll be potentially the next book that I write on. But as far as a, a distinctive, if you're growing up to be a, if you, you, want to be a leader at the at, at the one of the I would argue is not the highest level but one of the most important levels as far as being a squad commander as an in, in the Air Force as an officer here's here's some of the things that I learned along the way and so that idea of having that focused conversation and focused where I want to put my thoughts on that's what culminated with the book but I have I have other things I want to talk about right I experience things every single day just great conversations with the um, the people that I work with and people that I've met across my career and so that's why the podcast exists right for me to have a different avenue to have those communications to have those thoughts and to share them with you and hopefully inspire you to be the best um, leader that you can be and so I just enjoy creating I enjoy leading I enjoy doing things just on my own and just having a routine where I can just routinely pump out um, you know media and material that hopefully everybody in this world will find some sort of benefit from even if it's a small benefit I'll take that all day and so it's just a, it's a surreal feeling. It's a surreal feeling just to have, this is, if it, again, I'm, I'm, oh, let me do this, hold on. I don't know how to do ASMR things, but that's me flipping through the pages. It's crazy. Like I, I have a, a library. I enjoy reading all kinds of books, graphic novels, comic books, regular books, fiction, nonfiction. The idea of just holding this book is very, very proud to me. And uh, um, it is something that I, I'm going to, look back on and just say, wow, I actually did this. And so it's just a great goal to, um, for me to accomplish and, and I'm, I'm proud of it. So moving forward, there's a couple things. I want to have more experiences. I want to grow more. I want to have different things that I'm learning from and I'm going to keep continue to challenge myself. So for, I got to learn this business stuff, right? So the idea Right now, you can go to constantelevation.co slash shop, and you can order. It's not pre-ordered anymore. You can order because I got like 150 of these books here, and I'm going to start shipping those out tomorrow, this weekend. So the idea is um, the first 100 of these, I'm going to individually number and autograph. Again, if you are looking for an autograph version, I will personally autograph all of them from, uh, from this first release issue uh, for the first 100 of the book. Um, 
And then I got to figure out this marketing thing, right? I got to figure out how to make sure that people are aware of this book and what it means to me. Like books get published all the time. So what makes this different? And I need to work on my my marketing material, how to say that my thing is very distinct from the rest of the leadership and self-improvement things going out there. Uh, the book will go out for, um, will eventually be available on amazon.com and barnesandnoble.com. And so like those, I have to figure out those kind of pieces, how to make sure those things work smartly for, um, to, to support the, the sales of my book. Um, a couple other things that I'm trying to work on is just trying to challenge myself. I, I started this last week. I've started to figure out that I need to physically challenge myself a little bit. Um, I injured my hamstring uh, last weekend because I was doing hill sprints with a buddy of mine and he's faster than me and I had too much of an ego for, for him to beat me and I didn't like that so I pushed it too hard and I pulled my left hamstring. I don't like that. It's just a strain so it's not a big deal. But the idea is there's there's certain stuff that I'm getting, I'm having this itch, this competitive itch. Normally I'm not physically competitive stuff. I just want to maintain my dad bod and just be who I am. But like some energy in the world has been pointing to me of like, no, 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 you, there's some stuff that you need to do and you need to challenge yourself in the physical uh, um, fitness realm. And so not only am I going to figure out going back to, you know, marketing my book and figuring out how I can do that, I'm going to be physically challenging myself because I just enjoy that kind of grind. I enjoy some sort of ongoing challenge, potentially multiple ones going on at any time. So this next one is going to be um, in January, I'm going to be signing up for the Baltimore Open, and I'm going to be having my first weightlifting competition. So I'm looking forward to that. I'm going to be training under at uh, I still can train under Iron Athletics, and so like I'll be uh, proudly representing their banner when I uh, compete in January. And then the CrossFit Open starts in February of 2021, so I'll be praying for that. I have a large amount of weaknesses, and so I need to make sure that I work on those because I just want to see how I can train and push myself and just kind of focus in on certain things kind of like where I needed to focus on writing this book and just dr getting my routines and prioritizing the actions everything surrounding this I want to reprioritize my physical fitness stuff so the other piece I'm going to be doing which is <laughs> it's I'm glad this book arrived this month because I'm going to enjoy I'm going to allow myself maybe one time in November but a lot of uh, um, if you follow Joe Rogan you know he does sober October so I already passed that and I'm already you can't see it but I'm drinking right now uh, during October. So I'm not going to be doing sober October, but I will be doing sober November for no other reason than the fact that like it aligns. It's not a surprise. It aligns to my goals of wanting to be a, a more fit individual. Okay, cool. So just for the sake of November and challenging myself, I will have sober November. So starting on Sunday, I will make sure that I will end up partaking. I'm going to allow myself maybe one drink because I'm going to figure out some kind of like book release thing I want to do. And I did buy a, a bottle of a Whistling Pig uh, whiskey that I want to celebrate. And so outside of that, it's just going to be sober November. That's not even that big of a deal. It's not. It's just, but it's aligning small changes to make sure that I can actually have big positive things supporting my goals that I want to do. And so I'm going to be marketing the, in November, working on the marketing of my book, Sober November, working on my weaknesses physically uh, and trying to figure out how I can get better about my general, phys ger general physical fitness as well as my weightlifting competition that I want to sign up for in January. And then I'm already, I'm already going to start outlining what is going to be my next book. My next book is going to be something broadly for the masses as far as like, you know, um, self-improvement or mental development, something like that. I got to figure out exactly what that theme is going to be, but I'm looking forward to it. And uh, um, it all started with the publishing of my first book, No Pressure. I'm not kidding. Like this, the idea of just holding this book and flipping through the pages and being able to share it with the world. Um, thank you for everybody who's placed their pre-orders. I'll be like, like I said, I'll be sending them out this weekend and uh, tell a friend, tell somebody, tell, tell a, an officer enlisted who's interested in being a good leader and wants to see, hear some stories from, from an uncle who does some stuff. And I have some interesting, my normal method of sharing my thoughts and, uh, it, it's a good compliment to this podcast, I think. And, uh, there's lots of people, although it's a very, uh, you know, focus on air force officers, there's a larger art, uh, amount of leaders. If you just want to be a leader in the air force, in your community, I really think there's going to be some, some tips and techniques that you can take away from this book. So very, very proud of my stuff. So again, Thank you to everybody who has uh, um, been along for the journey. I'm looking forward to spreading the word about what I can do and how I can help out you out in the world to rise to your potential. Okay, so my dog Sally is sitting there whining right there by the door because she needs to go potty and I need to let her out. So 
that's going to end this episode. So again, contentelevation.co slash shop. You can order your numbered and autographed version of my new book, No Pressure. And I'm looking forward to talking to all of you next week. See you guys soon. Peace. Peace.